Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how I modeling this lipstick cosmetic product. Okay, let's start it. First, open up your blender, new file, general. Just go to the front view, press A to select everything, X to delete, press C, A, image reference, add your image reference, adjust your image reference, don't forget to turn down the opacity, change it by 0.5, adjust it over here. Okay, just like this. And just press C A mass add a circle tap to the edit mode as to scale it down slide this press E to extrude Z to extrude on the Z axis select this press Alt Z to see the X right view press E to extrude S to scale it down just a little bit like this scale it down again okay and press E X root Z, X root on the Z axis, X root down here, and just click over here. Press C D to duplicate it, press P selection to separate them. Tap to the object mode, select this in the circle, go to the edit mode, press A to select everything, press E to X root on the Z axis, just like this. Press A to select everything, we need to scale it a little bit. This, okay. Ctrl R to add a loop it. take over here and move it down here. Ctrl B to bevel it, to make it two segments, just like this. Okay. And select this edge, scale this up. And Ctrl B, bevel it, press the segment, just like this. Okay. And select this edge, press E again. S to scale it down, just like this, and T, X root, Z, X root on the Z axis, and select this edge, press C, D to duplicate it, press P, selection to separate them, select this new circle, back to the edit mode, press E, Z to X root on the Z axis, just like this, and press E again to X root, S to scale it down, just like this, press E again, Z, X root down here, it's very easy. And next, for the lipstick, shift D to duplicate it, P selection to separate them, tap to the object mode, select this new circle, tap to the edit mode, scale it down a little bit, just like this, okay, maybe scale it down, just like this, E to extrude, extrude it on the Z axis, just like this, Extrude again over here, okay. And press F to fill. We need to turn on the professional editing by click here. Select these three vertices as to scale it down and use wheels on your keyboard to increase and reduce the effect. Select this and scale it. Okay, select all of this face, turn down your professional editing by pressing O, rotate it like this, press G, Y, move it like this, and we need to select this three, turn on your professional editing again by pressing O on your keyboard, S to scale it, reduce the effect, just like this, we need to move our image reference back here. Just like this, okay. Press Ctrl through on your keyboard to add subdivision modifier. Shade smooth. Tap to the edit mode. Just Ctrl B, bevel. Just like this. Turn down your professional editing. And go to the right view. Select this H. This H. Press S, Z, 0. And scale it down just a little bit like this. Okay. Select this object. Press Ctrl T to add a subdivision modifier. Go to the modifier. We need a bevel modifier. Move this bevel over here. Change it to the 3 segment and change it to 0 0.003. At the bottom part, over here, we need to fill this. Tap to the edit mode. Click here. Press E to extrude S to scale it down. Just like this. Tap to fill. Select this H. Press Ctrl B. Just bevel it like this. Okay. Now, Control 2, add a superficial modifier and bevel modifier. Move it up here, make it 3 segment. 
change it to point zero zero three. Do the same over here. Control two, edit modifier, behold modifier, move it up here, change it three point zero zero three. Next is let's create the cup. Select everything except our image reference. Hide it first. Adjust your image reference, move it here, just like this. Press C A mass at a plan, press G Z, move it up here. Tap to the edit mode, S to scale it down, like this. Okay, press E Z to extrude it down, just way down here. Go to the right view, Alt Z to see the X-ray view, select all of this edge, go to the front view, press G Z, move it up like this. Yeah, I guess it looks like this. And select this edge, this edge, and this edge. Just Ctrl B, bevel them. Okay, press Ctrl R. We need another looper, just put it here. Ctrl B to bevel it. Just make it one segment. Just a little bit like this. Okay, and press Alt E, extrude face along normal. Extrude it inside, just a little bit like this. Okay. Okay, next. Tap to edit mode. Press 3 on your keyboard to change it to the face mode. We need to delete this face, just like this. And add a modifier, add a solidify modifier. Increase the thickness, just like this. Okay, maybe we need more. Just like this. And next is. We need a bevel modifier, change it to 3 segment, 0 0.003, and subdivision modifier. Tap to the object mode, shade smooth, select all this face, control B, bevel, select this. Yep, looks good, and move this way over here. Press Alt H to bring back all of our hidden object. I guess we are done with the modeling, let's start to texturing them. Go to the render property, change the render engine to cycle, and for the render, I only use 15 sample. Go to the film, go to the color management, change it to filmic, and high contrast. Oh, we need another window over here. Just click here and expand this bottom. As usual, we need another here. Turn down this, press T, change it to the render view. Click over here and check these two. Okay, change this to the if image editor and change this one to the shader editor and this is my setup for texturing I guess we need to do this first new material and go to the edit click on your principal base there press ctrl T if we can do that just go to the edit preference just type node wrangle install this add-on and save your preference now select your principal base there press ctrl T and we need to do the logo over here image texture open find your logo just like this and put it here, just disconnect this, press 6, change the color to the red, just anything, just any color you want, maybe I'm using like this red, hold control and shift, click on your image node, like this, tap to the edit mode, and you mark sim, hold Z to see the X-ray view, select the bottom, press U, mark sim, Go to the back view, just click over here, press U, mark sim, and press A to select everything, U, and right, okay, see over here, just click this vertices, press L to select everything, just scale it down over here, we don't need to texture this one, and for this one, press 2 on your keyboard, click select this H, press S, Y, 0, do the same over here, S, Y, 0, over here too, S, x0 and over here sx0 and press 3 on your keyboard select this face press a to select everything right click just follow active quad okay now we need to press f to rotate it to the 90 degree over here maybe rotate it again f 1.0 move it here See here the form view. Maybe like this. 
ya. Next is back over here. We need another node. Press Shift A, search for bump. Click here, put it over here. Connect the normal to normal, and just move this way back. Put it here. Disconnect this. We need the alpha. Connect it to the high like this. Now you can see something like this. Okay, next add a material over here. It's new material. Just name it gold. And change the color like a gold color. Turn down the roughness. Increase the metallic like this. Maybe it's okay. Select this and over here gold material. And for this one at the bottom, new material. Just make it black and turn down the roughness. Make it darker again. Just like this. And for this cup, we need a logo over here. Just use the gold the gold material and click here new material and press ctrl t click this object tap to the edit mode we need to unwrap this just click here view mark seams and a to, press a to select everything press u again unwrap and move this way up over here press shift a we need bump mode just click here connect this to the normal connect the alpha to the high over here and let me text or not. Open. We need the logo over here. And this one. Move this over here. Scale it up. Just like this. It's facing wrong direction. Press double R. And rotate it like this. Yep. Okay. That's it. We're done. Thank you for watching.